Connecting your printer to your home network can be a challenging undertaking. I've received numerous questions and comments on previous videos discussing the challenges that people have had. And as a result, I've put together this video that breaks down four, that's right, four different ways that you can connect your printer to your home network. To prove to you that this is possible, I'm gonna be performing these steps on a printer that's about 10 years old. It's an Epson XP820, and if I can connect this device to my home network, you shouldn't have any problem with yours. Keep in mind that if you have a different make and model of your printer, the steps will likely be similar to the ones I'm performing here, so let's jump right into it. The first way of connecting your printer to your home network is Old Faithful. We're going to use an ethernet cable to connect your printer directly to your router. All right, here's our printer. It's already powered on, so all you need to do, what you're looking for is an ethernet port on the back of the device. As you can see right here is the ethernet port. So we're gonna connect one end of the ethernet cable to this port, like so. The other end of the ethernet cable goes into one of the four ethernet ports on the back of your router, and we'll connect that now. Now that your printer and router are connected with an ethernet cable, you can just go in here, go down to network, and as you can see, there you are, multifunction devices, XP820. It shows that your printer is now networked because it's connected to your router. Obviously, there are limitations to this method. If your printer is not close to your router, this ethernet cable method won't work. So now let's look at a few methods of connecting your printer to your home network over Wi-Fi. All right, this next method we're gonna look at is manually connecting our printer to Wi-Fi. The first thing we have to do, we have to hit this network button here to access the network settings. Then we wanna go and select this setup button here. We're gonna go Wi-Fi setup, Wi-Fi setup wizard, connect to a Wi-Fi below, network from home 2G. Let's select no just because we wanna see the list of available Wi-Fi networks. What I found here is that the 5G Wi-Fi network is not available. And my hypothesis here is that this printer can only connect to 2G networks. So we're gonna select the network from home 2G Wi-Fi network. Okay, and here's the really hard part. Here you have to manually put in the password for your Wi-Fi network. If you have a complex password, this can be really tedious. As you can see here, it's gonna take me a long time to put this password in. All right, I'll skip ahead here until I get to the next step and fully enter this password. Okay, now we get setting up Wi-Fi, and this will take a little while to connect to our Wi-Fi network, so let's see how long it takes. Okay, setup complete, we can enter done. Here if we go to network settings, network status, you can see the connection is Wi-Fi, so that's how we know it works. Signal strength, excellent. That's the Wi-Fi network we connected to, so that's another method for connecting your printer to your home network. All right, although that method works for connecting your printer to your router, it's extremely tedious if you have a long or complex password. So let's look at a faster way for connecting your printer to your router, and that's with WPS. WPS is a quick and easy way to connect your devices to your home network. Your printer is no different here. The one thing you need to make sure is that WPS is enabled on your router. If you're not sure if this is the case, I've previously made a video that talks about WPS and how it works. So I suggest you check that out first. But now let's dive into the printer settings for making sure that we can make this connection. All right, here we are back on the home screen for our printer. We're gonna select network again. I disconnected it from the Wi-Fi so we can start over here with WPS. We'll select setup, Wi-Fi setup. We're gonna go push button WPS. My printer also has pin code functionality for WPS, but for now, push button is a lot faster and easier, so we'll select that. We'll select no, we don't wanna to connect to that Wi-Fi. Press the WPS on the wireless router or the software button in the wireless router utility. For details, see documentation for the wireless router. Once we get this message here, we need to grab our router. On the back of the router here, let's see if we can get a good image of it. It says WPS, there's a little button right here. So we're gonna click that. Once you click that, you'll get this little blinking button that says WPS is in process. We go back to the printer and select proceed. And it will say setting up Wi-Fi. Let's see if we can get a better image of this. 
setting up Wi-Fi, and now it's looking to connect with WPS. Okay, here we go. Wi-Fi connection has been established. It may take several minutes for it to complete. We'll select OK. And that's how you connect your printer to your router with WPS. This last option here for connecting your printer to your home network, believe it or not, it doesn't actually connect your printer to your router at all. It's called Wi-Fi Direct Setup. And essentially what happens is it allows your devices to connect directly to your printer using Wi-Fi technology. In this method, your devices are not connecting to your router. They're not connecting to the internet. It's a direct connection between these two devices. This printer here allows for four devices to connect directly to it. So let's go ahead, let's see how we can set that up. All right, here we are, we're back on the home screen one last time. Let's go into network again. I reset the Wi-Fi connection, that's why it says it's disconnected. We'll go to setup, Wi-Fi direct setup, connection setup, so let's get this started. The printer can be connected up to four Wi-Fi devices without a router. That's fantastic, let's proceed. Okay, select the network below to establish a connection to this printer. Here it is, so this is very important to keep note of. This is gonna be the Wi-Fi network that this printer puts out, that's the name of the network and that's the password that you need to use to connect your devices to this printer with Wi-Fi Direct. So let's select Proceed. Now what's happening is your printer is actually broadcasting a Wi-Fi network, much like your router does, but in this case, it will have the information that was detailed on the screen with the Wi-Fi network name and password. So now what we can do is take one of my devices, I use my laptop here, and we'll see if we can connect to that Wi-Fi network of the printer which will allow us to directly print to the printer without even needing a router in the first place. All right, let's see if we can find that Wi-Fi network that our printer is broadcasting. We'll go down here. First, what we wanna do is disconnect from our current Wi-Fi network. And here we are, just right here. Here is the Wi-Fi network that our printer is broadcasting. We'll select connect. And here we have to put in that password. So if you scroll down, it's asking for a pin we don't have a pin, we have a password. So connect using a password instead. And now let's put in that password that was listed on the screen here of your printer. All right, let's hit next. Verifying and connecting. Okay, connected, secured. Now my laptop is directly connected to my printer. Let's make sure that we have a connection in place. Okay, here in our network devices, we have the printer listed. It looks like we have a direct connection between my laptop and my printer, so that's a job well done. It goes without saying, but one thing to keep in mind is that when you're connected to your printer's Wi-Fi network, you don't have access to the internet. So you're giving something up every time you need to print. You'll need to reconnect to this Wi-Fi network that your printer's broadcasting every time you wanna print something, and then you have to reconnect to the internet once you're done. So this probably isn't the best method for most people, it's worth saying this, but it's a good fallback if the other methods I've explained don't work out for you. All right, at this point, if any of those four methods of connecting your printer to your home network don't work out, you might just wanna take a sledgehammer to your printer. In all honesty, I'm joking there, but there's a very good chance that one of these methods should work for your printer. If nothing else, you can use an ethernet cable to connect your printer and router or in some cases it might have a USB cable and you can connect it to the USB port that's on the back of your router. If you run into any problems with connecting your printer to your home network, please drop a comment below. If this video was helpful for you and you finally got your printer connected to your home network, please give it a like. There are a lot of people with this same problem and you can help them out by making sure this video gets shared with other people. And lastly, if you like the content on my channel, I invite you to subscribe. I'll have plenty more tips and tricks that will hopefully allow you to get the most out of your home network. As always, thanks for checking out this episode from Network From Home, and we'll catch you on the next one.